So, find the complement and supplement of the number one, all right? So again, per the videos that we talked about, um, when finding the complement and supplement, ladies and gentlemen, complement are going to be two angles that add up to 90 degrees. All right? So if you have two angles, you know this is 90 degrees, right? Let's say you have two angles. Let's call them x and y. Then the complement is going to be x plus y equals 90 degrees. Those two angles are complements of each other because they add up to 90 degrees. All right? Um, but now what we've also do, done is introduced radian form. Now remember, radians came into when we took you know, a radian, we took a radius and wrapped it around a circle. We understand that there is 3.14159 dot, 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 radians halfway around a circle. Yes, or anybody want me to go over and re-explain that? Does everybody understand? Good? OK. So we understand that a straight line is a straight angle, right? Or a line create is a straight angle, which is 180 degrees, right? But in radian form, it's pi radians. Now, when we're talking about supplement, the supplement is going to be two angles that are going to add up to give you 180. So it'd be x plus y equals 180 degrees. But in radians, that's x plus y equals um, pi. So if 180 is pi, then 90 is going to be pi divided by 2. Yes? OK. So now they give us the number 1. All right. Now, unless they give you a degrees, we do not know we, this 1 is in radian form. If it was in degree form, then you know you say degrees and you use degrees. So again, all this just to help you guys out, let's go back and again just discover again what is a radian. Remember if you have a circle, that's what we call the radius. right? You take that distance, wrap it around the circle, that distance is what we call a radian. All right? So what they're asking to do is if here is an angle, right? that angle has a measure of one radian, what is y? All right. Now remember, we're talking about radians. So therefore, it's going to be x plus 1 equals pi halves. So now we need to solve for x, right? We already know 1 is the radian. So we subtract 1. Subtract 1. So x equals pi halves minus 1. All right. And then if you're going to convert this, it would be x equals, multiply by this by 2 over 2 equals pi minus 2 divided by 2. Then if they're asking for decimal form, you can simply just take your calculator and do pi minus 2 divided by 2. And that's going to be, in radians, x equals, in rounded form, 0.57. And does that look like, from here to here, does that look like just over half, like a radian, roughly, right? Radian measures from here to here, so that's 0.57 over radian, as that's one radian. Does that make sense? Okay. Now we need to determine what the what the supplement is. So the supplement is x plus y equals pi. So therefore, it's x plus one equals pi. Minus one minus one. X equals pi minus one. Well, remember, pi is 3.14159. So therefore, minus 1 is equal to 2.14 rounded. Cool? Make sense? OK. Now, I will go to the number 2 real quickly. 